This video is brought to you by Radix Registry. Sign up today by visiting www.get.tech using the coupon code TECHEASY to get a .tech domain for just $3 a year. www.get.tech. Tech is everything. Coding made easy. Everybody, uh, this is Peter K. Coding Made Easy coming to you guys with your next Python Made Easy tutorial. And in this tutorial, we are going to continue learning about uh, if statements. Uh, so as you, uh, if you remember from our last tutorial, we had a problem. So we were printing off, uh, you got a B, you got a C, and you got a D uh, when we printed the value 71. We were printing off more than we wanted to. And uh, so that is essentially a big problem. So we can look about solving this problem in uh, many ways. Um, and I'm gonna be showing you one of two ways we could do it. The reason why I want to show you two different ways on how you can do it is that uh, programming uh, is not just, you don't, there's not just one way to do things. There's multiple ways to solve a problem. There can be more efficient ways, more optimized ways, more effective ways, but there's multiple ways to figure out a problem. And so I don't want you to get caught in a concept like I have to do it one way. No, there's multiple ways. Um, so we are uh, going to be uh, taking a look. So how can we solve this? Well, we can solve this in one way. So we can put in a range of grades that we want to check for. So as you can see, it says that for you got to see if it's greater than 60. But we only want to print it, you got to see if the value is between 60 and uh, between 60 and 69. So, uh, and same thing, 70 and 79, and we want to print a grade between 80 and 100. So how do we do this? What we can use is doing and. So we can say grade is greater than or equal to 80 and grade is less than or equal to 100. And we can do that for each one. So we can say and grade is less than or equal to 79. Do the same thing here. And grade is less than or equal to 69. And grade, sorry about that, is less than or equal to 59. And we'll keep this as the same right here. So once we run our application, uh, if we put the value 71 again, it only says you got a B. Because if we check, is grade greater than or equal to 80? No. So is greater than is grade greater than or equal to 70? Yes, it is. And is the grade less than or equal to 79? Yes, it is. We want to print you got a B. Is the grade greater than or equal to 60? Yes, it is. And is the grade less than or equal to 69? No, it's not. Therefore, you got a C. So as you can see, using the and keyword it makes it so that both sides of the equation must be true in order for it to be executed. Okay? So that is one method, uh, one method that we can use to uh, go around uh, to, to, to do this functionality. Now, the next method that we can use uh, to fix it uh, or to fix this is we can remove this and remove this right here. And remove this and remove uh, or no we'll keep this right here so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this LF and I'll explain what this does in just a second and I'll just do else okay so what does elif do? So elif is short form for else if. So whenever we have an if statement, right? Each if statement is its own like statement. But once we have an else if, an else if must belong underneath an, an if statement. So once you do an else if or an else statement, they are grouped underneath this if statement. So basically what it does is this. It will, we will check a grade, right? Say we enter the grade 80. Is 80 greater than or equal to 80? Yes, it is. And is 80 less than or equal to 100? Yes, it is. Okay, we've got our value. 
Once we've got our value, it ignores all the other elif and el statements because they're all grouped together. So essentially, it searches through each of these groups. Once it finds a true value, so once it executes its true value, it will do whatever it needs to execute and then exit and continue the code that we have after it. So I'll just like print uh, done here just to show you when it's done. So elif just allows you to say else if. So if this is not true, else if this is true, else if this is true, and blah, blah, blah. The else statement essentially means if all else fails, do this. So you don't need to put an else statement. You can omit it if you want, right? And if none of these are true, then nothing will be executed. But in this case, we can say if else, if nothing, if none of these are true, this is our fail safe. So this is what we want to execute. Okay. So to show you uh, that it works, we are going to uh, please enter a numerical grade. We're going to enter the value 66. So as you can see, it says you got a C and then done. So it checked is uh, 66 greater than or equal to 80. Nope. So it's ignored is gr uh, grade greater than or equal to 70. Nope. It's ignored. Is grade greater than or equal to 66? Yes, it is. Print, you got a C. Okay, it printed it. Okay, we can ignore this, we can ignore this, and let's continue with the rest of our program. So they are all grouped together whenever we have if and elif statements. So that is it for this tutorial. Uh, in the next tutorial, as I promised, uh, we are going to be looking at the different operators we can use and the uh, different ways we can use uh, within to compare things within if statements or compare things in general. Uh, so that's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and bye for now.